monitoring the entire internet traffic is a challenge that all major signals intelligence agencies have been struggling to implement the last few decades. But how can a single entity know what to monitor and what to ignore? One method is the cyclic survey. Welcome to Tradecraft Sunday. Being able to gather intelligence and communications via signals processing is the core mission of intelligence agencies like the United States NSA, the British GCHQ, and various others. The first challenge of this is tapping into the networks that all that data flows through. That can be done by tapping on submarine cables, capturing satellite broadcasts, demanding a country's telecommunication providers to tap the traffic for national security monitoring, hacking into foreign network infrastructure, and several other means. However, no matter how much an agency can invest, it's almost impossible to be able to monitor everything even if they are able to tap on those fire hoses of data. Of course, there are some smaller volume traffic lines, like for instance diplomatic traffic, that SIGINT agencies can always record just in case they'll ever be able to decrypt it. But what about everything else? To solve this challenge, Western SIGINT agencies came up with a concept of surveying, that is, searching all captured traffic in near real time for matches of what the agency's analysts are looking for. This way they can ignore all the traffic that is not matching that criteria and thus reducing the amount of data they have to record, store and process. But even then, the scale of the traffic is usually still unmanageable. This is how the concept of cyclic survey came into effect. Assuming a SIGINT agency has two processing centers that have enough capacity to process 10 links simultaneously, but the agency has tapped on, let's say, 100 links. In this case, they can do the same surveying we just described, but in a cyclic manner. Each of those two processing centers is running a survey on 10 links, looking for any traffic based on the criteria the SIGINT analyst defined in order to store it and process it. If something is found, that traffic is passed for further storing, recording, processing and so on. For everything else, it's ignored and after a predefined interval, let's say 15 minutes, the processing center moves to the next batch of links, repeating the same operation, and then to the next batch of links, and so on until they get back to the first batch, thus implementing a cyclic survey. Apparently, this poses the risk of missing something important that happened to pass through a link while not being surveyed. But on the other hand, it makes processing enormous amounts of network traffic possible. Every aspect of the intelligence field has its own little secrets, its own tradecraft. And that was a small snippet of modern SIGINT tradecraft.